Are you a DJ looking for ways to stream to Mixcloud, Twitch, and your own website at the same time? Or maybe you are a fitness professional with a Facebook community, YouTube channel, and a website, and you'd like to live stream a workout to each of those destinations at the same time. Well, look no further, the answer is Caster. Hey, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, I'm showing you how to stream to multiple social sites and your website, all with the touch of one button. Caster is a streaming platform that lets you multi-stream to 30 plus platforms. And that includes Mixcloud, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Now, Caster has four different product offerings, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be focusing on their live streaming and multi-streaming products. These terms tend to be used synonymously, but as it relates to Caster, multi-streaming is a product that allows the users to stream to a large number of social sites. And live streaming is essentially the same thing, but as the ability to embed an HTML5 player on any website. This feature is incredible for anyone running a business because when you're live streaming, yeah, it's great to tell people to go to Facebook, go to YouTube, but if you can actually drive traffic to your own website, well, that's exactly what you wanna be able to do and not send them elsewhere. This could also be super helpful for a fitness professional, for instance, that has a members area on their website uh, for people to, to take a fitness class or maybe a yoga class where you can give them a password and you can just do a live stream directly on your website. The pricing at the time of this video in December 2020 starts at $9.99 a month for multi-streaming and $100 a month for live streaming. All right, now we're at my computer and we're gonna log into Caster so you can see how this all works. I'm gonna run you through a quick little setup and then I'll show you my own setup and kind of how I've been able to stream to some different sites as well as my own website. I'm gonna go into what I've set up and what I regularly use. We'll show that later, but just so you guys can see what happens when you do something new. Um, we want to create a new live stream. And here's where you would type in the name of the stream as well as your uh, region that you'd host. So let's just call this a test. Where for me, I'm in the US West. And you know, that's it, it's pretty easy. And so here is my RTMP um, information as well as my streaming key. And why this information is important is because this is simply just the streaming platform. You still need a broadcast platform. And for me and many others out there, I use OBS. So you really need to take that information, put it in the OBS and then start streaming, start sending a video stream from OBS and that will then be talking to Caster. And from there, you can start toggling on and off the different sites as well as your website that you'd wanna be streaming to. Right now, I have it set up to stream to Mixcloud and Twitch. But if I wanted to add a platform, I have all of these choices. And I mean, just look at all of these. We've got Facebook Live, YouTube, Periscope, Vimeo, Ustream, a ton of things I've never even heard of. And of course, Mixcloud is on there. Linking all these things is just as easy as clicking on them and putting in the correct information. All right, let's just do a quick little test stream. This is just gonna be super basic. I have my stream laptop, which is this laptop right here. This is what I run OBS on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start streaming. Now I've already put in the stream key, everything that I've needed to do um, is right here in OBS. And the reason why it says waiting for stream is because we're still waiting for it to stream from OBS. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start streaming right now. And we should see this pop up very soon. There we go. And there I am. So this is kind of a crazy thing, but here we can see in the video, um, my streaming laptop and we can also see within the dashboard on Caster how everything's running. And just for fun, let's go ahead and go to my website, djkona.com slash live. And we can see that we have a stream on there as well. Why not? just show you how this works so easily with toggling these on and off. Now you see this toggle all, we could 
at the touch of a button. If you had 30 different sites that you're trying to stream to, you can turn them all on at once, or you can choose which ones you want to do. So right now, let's just go ahead and go to Mixcloud. I'm just going to toggle that on, and I'm going to go to my Mixcloud account. Let's type in DJ Kanoya. Click right there, and it shows that DJ Kanoya is live. And I can click on that, and it'll make it nice and big. There we are. There we are. I'm waving to my streaming laptop now, and we'll probably see it come up real shortly. So these are some of the analytics. Um, we can just go right here in between, so I can click last 30 days. So we can see that on, looks like November 28th or 29th, um, when I was streaming, uh, the most we had, looks like we had 15 people watching. Um, some of this data is kind of strange. A lot of this is tests that I was doing. What's also great is that Caster will record your stream and it says that it deletes it after three days, yet I'm still seeing all of these streams here as well. You know, full streams plus test streams. Um, but you can just download these directly to your computer. And then if you're a fitness instructor uh, and you do a live stream, you can record this just like you would in Zoom and you've got it saved. And if you wanna archive it, put it in a, behind a paywall or something, this is the perfect solution for you. And you don't even have to hit record, it does it on its own. Well, that's a look at Caster. I wanna know what you think. Tell me if you have plans to do multi-streaming or what you've been using so far either to stream or maybe you've just decided you're just gonna to go to one place. Is a platform like Caster gonna be helpful to you? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm always looking for new ways to improve my productivity, my live streams, whether that's new gear or new platforms like Caster. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I wanna thank you for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I'll see you next time online.